Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel. So guys in these lectures we are actually going to study one of the most important topics of geology that is paleontology. So uh, as I have told you before in the introductory lessons that in paleontology we are actually going to deal with you know the fossils, the ancient form of life, the you know the imprints, the preserved parts of plants and animals of prehistoric time, the, the internal and external morphology of the fossils and so on. So in these lectures we are going to cover the most important and basic topics under paleontology. So guys without wasting much of our time let us quickly get started with the syllabus that what we are going to actually study under these topic okay so let's have a quick look at the syllabus and after that we'll start with our first topic under paleontology so you can look here here it is a fossil it is an ammonite okay so it, it really looks beautiful so the, there are so many another you know different types of fossils which we are actually going to study and after attending these lectures you'll be in a position of course when you can identify that which fossil is actually shown here so let's get started with our syllabus under paleontology so what topics we are going to cover so i have actually divided the portion of paleontology the basics of paleontology under two parts so under the part one we are actually going to deal with the introduction of paleontology what is paleontology is I mean you already know what is paleontology but still we'll have a brief look I mean the definition so that you can write it in the exams and then we have the essential conditions for fossilization and modes of fossilizations of course at first we'll see that what actually are fossils what is fossilization and then we'll have a look at what are the conditions of fossilization and what are the modes of fossilization after that We'll look at the geological uses of fossils, that where they are actually used. The index fossils, a very important topic, I say. Index fossils and their importance. After then, we'll start looking at the morphology and geological history of some of the fossils. Uh, at first, we have graptolites, then we have foraminifera, and then we have trilobites. All right? So this actually these topics i have put into the first part and in the second part we'll be just looking at the morphology the geological histories of these fossils uh, at first echinoids then we have brachiopoda then lamblibranchia then gastropoda and then cephalopoda so guys just for your convenience you know i may change the order at which i'll be teaching you these you know topics because i'll be starting with the easier one because if i'll start with the most difficult one you'll be feeling like oh god why i am studying paleontology and so on because i know many of us are not from a biology background that's why we'll be having some sort of difficult reading this but don't worry guys it's not actually biology you don't have to go into the biology of these fossils you just have to look at the morphology and their geological history so okay at first let us look at what is paleontology so guys we know it actually is you know the branch which studies about the ancient lives the life forms that once existed on the earth's surface so oh, let us look at this paleontology is formed by three words palae that means ancient onto that means life and logos that means study so you can combine these three words and you get ancient life study okay so simply study of ancient lives getting it so uh, if we look at the definition of paleontology in a proper manner it may be defined as the study of life of past geological ages of course we are going to deal with those um, organisms that were there ex that existed on the earth surface i mean millions of years ago because it take ages you know actually ages to form fossils it's not a 
process that takes place only in one or two hours or in days or years. It takes actually ages. So we're going to study the life of past geological ages based on the ages, based on the fossil remains of ancient flora and fauna, I mean the remains of the plants and animals which sometimes, you know, at a time existed on the earth, which have no living de descendants. So these flora and fauna actually don't have any living descendants. They are extinct. They existed on the earth, you know, uh, millions of years, ages ago. Fine. So this is paleontology. So uh, let's have another one. It is the science which sets out to study those organisms that once lived on the earth. Okay. Vestiges or fossils of which have been preserved in the sediments. Okay, so we are actually going to deal with the organisms that once existed on the earth. We are going to study about these ancient life forms, these organisms through their fossil remains. And remember guys, these fossil remains are actually preserved in the sediments, I mean the sedimentary rocks. Why? Because these igneous rocks are how they are formed. They are actually formed due to the cooling of lava. And just imagine, you know, at a time when there was a lot of volcanic activity going on in the earth. Do you really think at that time any flora or fauna existed on the earth's surface? And even if it existed, it's not uh, you know, possible for any organism to sustain in so hot volcanic magma. So you can't fo find any life form during you know these formation of these igneous rocks hence uh, you you don't get you know any fossils in these igneous rocks so the only one remains is sedimentary rocks because these rocks are found in what layers these sedimentary rocks are found in la fine in layers so that's why you know after one layer maybe any life form you know it got buried then and then another layer you get some unconformity and so on so don't go so deep into them we'll be studying them into structural and petrology don't worry so after doing the introduction of paleontology we'll be jumping to our another topic that is fossils and fossilizations thank you mm -hmm.